and do many food drives, like uh, Thanksgiving recently. Uh, you know, it's a uh, thing when you tell volunteers, whoa, we, can't, <laughs> we don't have any <laughs> more jobs like on Thanksgiving away. Day. Everybody wants to come, and we have one person cutting the pumpkin pie, another person putting it <laughs> on the plate, so to speak, because so many people be involved. Just recently, I was talking to somebody on the telephone, and he said rather than buy Christmas gifts for his sisters and their inner family, older siblings, that they're going to take all that money and go buy food and bring it to the Salvation Army. That's, that's incredible. Mm. That's how it gets done. Yeah. Sometimes we're just like holding on and just <laughs> letting people do the work. But I think that's great that you have that many people in this community that want to come forward and help. And you know, you things about people all the time, but you don't always hear about the good things that people do. Mm. And, and knowing that the community is coming forward and helping you I think is the, the, a big, big plus, and for our audience, too, to know that. Unity built this new center of hope. It, um, it was amazing to us how the community got together and, and supported and raised the money to build that facility. Okay. That's just <laughs> wonderful. People helping people. Now, is it actually greater during Thanksgiving and Christmas? I mean, it, to, to me, it seems like it would be. It, it really is, and this year more so with the economy right. and um, people already on low income, th there's no jobs left, people getting laid off, so the need has increased. We serve a, served a lot of people Thanksgiving dinner. We've signed up over um, 700 families for Christmas assistance this year. Uh, since the opening of the new Center of Hope, the feeding program has increased. Uh, it used to be uh, we were serving 50 to 75 meals a day. Now we're doing well over 100 a day. So and toward the end of the month, that, that uh, number even increases. So the economy mm -hmm. really has caused an impact on what you do. It, it really has. H how uh, has the economy affected you all in point of you know, the, the donations that you get? Are, are they less because of the economy, or do you still Well, notice? since the um, kickoff of the kettle campaign, it's $7,000 down from last year. Uh, we're going to be optimistic. We're going to have faith. We know God's going to bless it, but I uh, appreciate the opportunity to, to mention that. Um, we, uh, since the opening of the new Center of Hope, you know, with more people staying in, there is a need for uh, additional revenues and new donors to uh, right. help us keep the new facility going. So we have seen uh, it put a strain on the donations. So compared to last year, last season, you are down. A little bit down. And Correct. But, but a, you do get a lot of donations through the kettle. I was watching television the other night on the news and somebody had dropped a coin in, in the Salvation Army pot. It's a coin and it's worth like five or six thousand dollars. Has that ever happened here? <laughs> Are we still hoping it will happen here? We're still <laughs> hoping it will. The goal is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and we're almost at the hundred thousand dollar mark, just slightly under this year, as I said earlier. But uh, people in this community are so generous, and uh, it never fails that when you put the need out there, people want to help people, right. and we know that's going to be the case this year. Another thing, when times are tough, you know, it seems like people kind of pull together right. to, to help each other, and, and, and we see, see that happening, too. So. What other kind of funding do you have, not only at the holidays, but generally? Uh, I know the pots at the holidays, but you get funds from other places. Mm -hmm. uh, United Way funds a, a small portion of our budget, and you know, they didn't make their goal, so we took a decrease right. from Yay this year. Uh, but they just completed or completed a very uh, active campaign, and they're hopeful that they'll meet their goal for this next funding cycle. We get a little state aside funds for the shelter program, and um, we have some other fundraisers that are minor fundraisers that bring a little bit in, but the majority of the donations, I would say 60 percent, 
of the revenue is raised at Christmas time that, that provides the, the support for Christmas. We want to stick our family store in there too. Yeah, that's a good uh, idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any donations that we get from the community, that helps bring in money to help our programs. That's great. And you don't have any kind of charge to the food baskets that you take out no. and de deliver to people. You know, I know some of the food banks do charge a small amount for a can of something. I but think it's a service fee of yeah. some sort mm -hmm. to but help them facilitate the program. When we first started, our club first started donating, so impressed by the fact that there is no charge. You know, you know these people are in need and, and you're making this donation. Uh, another thing that, that has impressed me, and we've worked with you in the past, I think with Katrina. Um, as a matter of fact, I did a radio and said, our club is donating $200 to the Salvation Army for Katrina. Anybody want to match that? Clubs mm -hmm. come forward. I don't know if they did or not, but I, I did do that because mm -hmm. the Salvation Army is always there. Disasters you hear, Salvation Army and Red Cross, they're the first two people who are there and there I, you go. I, I mean you know I just think it's and the last ones to leave and the last <laughs> ones to leave exactly but you know I, I think that that's certainly to your credit and what you're known for is is that you are there mm -hmm. and that Debbie and I both have served on uh, major disasters uh, Debbie went up to the uh, the school shooting at Virginia oh. Tech mm -hmm. I served at the Pentagon night when uh, that disaster struck Salvation Army is, um, has a well-rounded uh, disaster program that's nationally known and part of uh, HUD's disaster program. If we ever had a disaster here, the Salvation Army would rally uh, uh, troops and equipment to come in to provide uh, support, equipment, and the funding from disasters is from a level although some disaster funds come in locally, but uh, the Army is ready to respond at any given moment. Our facility here in Lynchburg, Linda, uh, is the city would use as the first shelter for the first 50 evacuees. Well, that's wonderful mm -hmm. to know. If uh, a disaster struck, and we do have a generator, working on getting a generator <laughs> for the new uh, a center of hope building as well so that we can be ready to anybody remember. listening they need a generator <laughs> <laughs> for this, the city of hope building <laughs> we'll see if we can get you a generator thank mm. you um, do you have do you provide uh, shelters for battered women I, you know that's a concern too uh, we we take battered women but um, you, because of the security situation and the special counseling that they right. need, uh, we would work with another agent in that area. Yeah. What's the capacity for, of your, your facility for homeless people? Mm -hmm. You may have said that already and I just missed no, it. No, I didn't say that. Um, Linda, we have 70 beds now, but that was as many bed budget would allow when we built the building. We c and it's serving us very well right now. Um, but we could probably add an additional 25 beds if we ever needed to. Well, Let's hope great. we don't have to, but we do have the right. pace. And uh, Debbie mentioned the community uh, in supporting this project. It's one of the most amazing things that I have ever been a part of, that God brought $5 million through Jenna Porters, and there are three or four major givers. I can't mention their names on the... Uh, television lead givers uh, won a million dollars, won a $700,000 gift, and another a $500,000 that made this building possible. $3.7 million built the building. Mm -hmm. and uh, I just think it's wonderful. I, now, do you have a soup kitchen? Or I, I know you've got a facility to feed people, and soup kitchen is the only thing I need to call it. Yeah. But a lot of people call it the soup kitchen. I've been trying to change that line of thinking <laughs> to the community feeding program, but it's in the brochure as the soup kitchen, and, and that's really what it is. But we do seven days a week, 305 days a year. There is no reason why anybody should go hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a well-rounded, nutritious breakfast and dinner. All you have to do is come in and just s sign your name that you uh, 
we're there so we can numbers on how many come about right. approximately